Hi okay, gang, Jimmy D here, and in today's video, we are going to grab our rewards points by earning an achievement in a Game Pass game called Harold Halibut, where we are working towards 100% completion, so we can get that 1,000 gamer score, or that platinum trophy, or whatever you guys get in Steam. If you guys are just starting to follow along, I do offer an achievement select in the descriptions below, as well as a link to my playlist at the end of this video. Remember guys, in the descriptions and in the comments, there are timestamps so you will be assured to get all of the collectibles and with all that being said guys let's go ahead and start up our game according to true achievements guys i am just over 14 hours according to them 14 hours 15 minutes be sure to pad out your time as you are going to need it Rather to have and not need than need and not have. Go ahead and continue. So we can get that slow bro achievement, guys. Water Corporation for choosing to travel with us today. Uh, let's go ahead into this elevator here to E. And we need to head to the lab district. And head to our quarters, now, relax. to be more exact, our room, as we need to start up on delivering Buddy's letters. Thank you for choosing all the tubes. And it's going to be a bunch of heading back to our room, guys, getting a letter. Delivering it, heading back to our room. Unfortunately, that's the way the game is designed. It, it kind of works out time-wise. So let's head downstairs. And interact with Buddy's letterbox right here. First one is for us, Harold. Okay, time to see what all this is about. Oh, the top one is addressed to me. Hey, Harold. If you're reading this, then, well, it's because I'm not around to tell you myself. These are the remaining letters. I wonder what the recipients would think if you delivered them after all this time. Of course, you may have to read them in order to figure out who that recipient is. As you can see, the addresses or names on the envelopes were damaged or obscured somehow. And don't worry about getting into trouble. According to paragraph 18.5 of the All Water Delivery Handbook, in the event that the senior All Water Post official, that was me, is incapacitated, they may designate a junior as delivery proxy. I hereby designate you. By the way, you can deliver them in the same order they're arranged in the box. I took the liberty of organizing them for maximum transit efficiency. Hope you enjoy this little taste of what I had so much fun doing. Now get those knees up high and deliver some joy. Your distant pal, buddy. I don't know if we have to interact with the box one more time or if it does it automatically, guys. But we need to get our first letter, and yep, it does it automatically. Yeah. Let's see. First one needs to go to, as you can see, up top right, Professor Moreau. So let's head up the stairs, as she is right here. Go ahead and interact. Professor. I've got a bit of mail for you. Oh, thanks. Just put it over there with the rest. This one is kind of different. And how do you know that exactly? I'm delivering it for Buddy. It's from Cyrus, from a long time ago. What? Give it here. Let me see. To whom it may concern. That's you, Moreau. 
I'm writing to formally oppose your newly proposed archiving protocol. The archiving club has operated perfectly well for months using the Arundhati indexing protocol. Implementing a new one now will set back our archiving efforts considerably while we adapt to the new system and re-index the existing archives. Furthermore, I'm afraid if you continue to suspend working with the existing index in a misguided attempt to brute force your own way and to suddenly claim how much better it is as proof the ends justify the means, I may be forced to report this matter to the school council. I look forward to resolving this matter amicably and returning once again to our concurrent archiving efforts. Orderly yours, Cyrus. Oi, that's what he thought. And he must have assumed I'd snubbed him at the time. Surely he doesn't still remember that. Well, either way, can you believe how long we've been carrying on this little grudge? Oy vey, we're still acting like kids. Oh, you're not that bad. Huh, thanks, Harold. I mean, for bringing me this. It helped me realize it's time to put aside our differences. To accept that we'll never see eye to eye. Maybe that's why we achieve so much together. Ah, huh, cool. You and Cyrus are a great team. That protocol was inefficient, though. See you in a bit. All right. Now that we've delivered that letter to Professor Moreau, let's head back down into our room, as a tax says, and deliver the next letter. Interact with the box. Let's see. This one is going to go to Captain Zoya. So, of course, head to the elevator. Now, if you guys recall, Captain Zoya is in the All Water District. So, first thing we need to do is head to Central Station. Location nominated. Journey commencing. All water thanking you. Head across to the other water. side. All water district. All water. If you remember, guys, Every he day. is in the elevator. Just past the all water tube. We know you enjoy traveling with all water. You're welcome. So go ahead and interact with the panel and call the elevator. Now we are going to have to talk to Zoya twice in order to get the letter delivered to him so let's go ahead and talk to him the first time ah oh sorry harold you just startled me a lot's going on for me is everything okay captain at large yeah everything is Okay. You seem a bit... It's just that, you know, it's it's amazing that I can be a real captain if we take off. It'd be wow, but I, I kind of thought it wouldn't at all happen so fast. I've got a lot to learn and no one to teach me. You know, something I've learned, 
is that usually what's going to happen is so unexpected, you may as well not think about it. So, you're saying I should just relax? I guess so. It's also kind of like you can only do what you can do, you know? Try to forget about what you can't control. Like the ship? Um, maybe don't forget <laughs> that. I, I jest, I jest, I think. Uh, anyway, thanks for the advice. I'll bear it in mind. I'm going to get back to my research about what all the controls do. Good luck, Sawyer. You'll do great. And now we need to speak to him again so we can deliver the letter. Zoya, I've got something for you. Oh. Yeah, it's kind of a long story, but it's an old letter for you that never got delivered because of All Water's weird rules. Buddy wanted me to finally give it to you. Okay. Odd, but uh, let me take a look. Oh boy, Zoya. We just wanted you to know how proud we are of you. Let me tell you a story about when I was a boy. I was listless, about to finish school. Of course, my papa was the original pilot of the Fedora. What a cool job, but what a thing to live up to. And I think I felt somehow ashamed he'd been at the helm when it crashed. So, I decided to do something totally different and get a job in the agricultural district. I didn't know what I wanted to do, and I didn't really know what there was to do. But as I looked after the animals, helping tend the crops, I stopped thinking so much about what I wanted to do. I just did. And as I was just doing, I grew up, I learned, I changed, and then seemingly without any real effort i felt ready to accept my place as captain i didn't feel forced into it and i knew what i would do as a captain with no ship to fly i had to help everyone else have the opportunity i did to grow at their own pace being a captain at large or at small means lots of things you may not always be needed to pilot the ship physically through space. But your position is a symbol of hope, of good leadership. A living embodiment of the idea of using skill and courage to move forwards. Whatever the obstacles in front of you. Your old Captain Dad. Ah. Oh, Dad. I never knew. I always thought you never doubted your path in life. Shall I leave you be? No, it, it's okay, actually. You know, it, it's funny. You would think not knowing is scary, but now that I know I'm not the only one to have felt like that, it's actually liberating. And, yeah, some things about my dad suddenly make sense now. Like all those weird job manuals he left lying around. I always thought he was trying to hint to me to start working. But I guess they were his way of understanding other routes through life. Thanks for this, Harold. I'll, uh... I'm just gonna have to sit down. It's a lot to process. Of sure. Take your time, Captain at March. I'll see you around. And good luck with everything. Alright. Now that we've delivered that, let's go ahead, of course, interact with the panel here on the right to raise the elevator and yep we need to go all the way back to our bedroom to grab the next letter so of course central district Central Station, sorry. All water compliments you on your choice of destination. All water, we get you where you're going. Head across to the next all water elevator. 
And yep, lab district. Travel in style with all water. Unsatisfactory journey for some reason. Head to our bedroom. Just contact your nearest uh, and all water will make it up to you. This one, guys, right is on. for Bridget. Time for the next letter. That was intense. Tommy, wow. But before we go to Bridget, we need to take care of a little, another short achievement in between. So we are going to go ahead of course, to the elevator and head to Central Station. Actually, we're not going to head to Central Station. We are going to head to the Energy District. I'm sorry, guys. Energy District. As we need to have a short conversation with Slippy. You've arrived. Have you checked your pockets before leaving? Inspecting. 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 Who's at the very end here? Give him a talking to. This oh, is sure. important, guys. We the need to talk to him. To the all -important for the next achievement. Basically, all on my own, with no one to help me, just like always. Old Slippy with the world on his shoulders. I'm sure you're doing great. Yeah, I'm making the cooling procedure more efficient than ever. It's going to be able to cover a lot of ground. Like me. <laughs> Gotta stay cool, given no one is ever around to help. How about I give you a hand? What? No, what are you doing? Don't touch that! But I, I thought you said... Never mind. I'll leave you to it. That would be really great. Alright. Now, we can go see Bridget. So, let's head to Central Station. Because Bridget is in the... Welcome. Please submit. Limited cave. Flumumum Cave, of course, and she's all the way in the crack. Beware of the crack. Crack kills. Thank you on behalf of the All Water Corporation for choosing to travel with us today. Not only are we going to give her a letter, but we're also going to get a notebook entry, guys, once we speak with her. Kids. 
minutes. Concentrate, please. It will be 51 I of 71. This stuff is boring. Hey there, Bridget. Right. Uh, okay. Yes. <laughs> Kids, don't let me down. Harold, let's go. Lots to do. Uh, got, gotta do it. Harold? Yes. What? There's much to be done. The workstation is going to need a depth gauge. We'll probably need tubing of various sorts. Sonar for the... And of course, thermometer. We'll need a barometer, naturally. And we'll need the computer components to tie it all together. You... You want me to find all of that? What? No, don't be silly. I'm not a monster. I've got the kids helping. It's all under control. Oh. So, is there anything I can do? Gee, I mean, uh, hmm. I guess you could help me plug in the cables? Great. All Let right. me take a look. Hey, are you working back there? I'm watching, you know. I've got eyes in the back of my head. First one, guys. All we have to do is match it up. So, use your left stick. And we're going to plug this oh. one here. Hey, there's one done. And this Great. one Keep up is the good in work. the bottom middle. That makes two. This one, guys, will be up top left. All good so far? This one will be right here, exactly in the center. Thanks, Harold. You're saving and my back. And this one here needs an adapter which we don't have, so go ahead and plug it in. Try to plug it in a couple times. Until Bridget interacts. Don't get discouraged, I believe Sorry, in Bridget. you. One of the cables doesn't seem to fit properly. Oh, hey there, Tommy. Hey, Harold, don't mind me. We won't. Anyway, and what does that mean again, for guys, us, we are going to get our uh, notebook entry, we're missing 51 an out of 71, uh, after my this interaction. Inaccurate. Tommy, I really hope the adapter wasn't in that last lot of stuff you made me throw away. Bridge, I didn't make you throw anything away. I just gently suggested you might want to rationalize. Yes, but I'm not going to feel very rational if we can't find it because of your gentle suggestion. Look, I'm sure it's still lying around somewhere in the energy harvest. Harold, could you check there for me, please? It's where I packed everything up, so it's our best bet. Sure, I'll head over. Positive attitude, love it. Oh, while you're there, actually, we've been having some connection issues with the data transfers, packet loss and the like. Could you look into setting up a better connection? I can try, it's not really my area of expertise. Where's that positive attitude gone? But, um, maybe you're right. Perhaps you could get Rafael? Perhaps. I'll ask them. I'll let you know ASAP. Great. Good luck. Cool. See ya, Tommy. Laters. Now we need to interact with Bridget one more time in order to pass her the letter. Hey, Bridget. There's our notebook I've entry. i a letter for you. What? Why? Oh, it's a long story. Just... Buddy asked me to, okay? Oh, sure. If it's kosher with Buddy, it's all right by me. Let me see that. Dearest, brightest Bridget, thank you for your letter. I understand. Honestly, I do. But I have to write you this letter anyway. One last appeal. I will give you space. As much space as you need to grow into whatever beautiful flower you need to be. In whichever way you need to bend towards the sun. And my love will burn as bright. But I know it will not be what you grow towards. It will just be there. But of course, ultimately this is your decision. My declaration of love is not a question. It's just there. Like the fish in the sea that don't even know they're in the sea. It exists without knowing why or needing anything else. And I will be happy to love you, whatever comes next. Just let me know if you decide to have this love next to you, while your own self-love grows too. Ah. Uh. Huh. You took it well after all. You changed your mind? You read this? Ah, uh, I had to just look to know who to deliver it to. The front was all blurred. Maybe Tommy got too many tears on it. Ah, uh, it's okay, Harold. This is old news, eh? And it all worked out. 
I came to realize a few things about love myself and told him we could try being together, but apart, not too much the same person, you know? So he maybe thought his letter had helped? That would help explain why he never stopped so much with the grand gestures. <laughs> I suppose so. Will you tell him? I think I will. You're never too old to learn something new about love. That's right. All right. From this point, guys, we need to head back to our room to grab the next letter. So up and around to our right, I guess, Harold's left. To the first set of stairs. Into the elevator. And of course, to Central Station. Destination determined. Now, relax with all water. Head directly to You're the right here. into Thank the next elevator water tubes. as we need to go to the Agora Arcades to speak with... Uh, actually, no, we need to go to the lab district first. Oh. Location nominated. Journey and go commencing. all the way back to our room. Thanking Oof. you. Almost got ahead of myself here. Thank you for traveling with all water. As we need to grab the next letter, which, yes, goes to Rafi. to our bedroom. Grab the next letter. Okay, letter time. Now, we can head to the Ogre Arcades. And talk with Rafi. Moving people every day. We know you enjoy traveling with all water. You're welcome. All the way to the end. And just like Zoya, guys, we are going to need to speak with Rafi twice so that we can deliver the letter. Intercom Oasis right here. Rafi? Hmm? Have you got a minute? Probably. Hang on. Um, 
I have a favor to ask you. We need a better connection in the cave, the workstation. It's really important. The cave? Yeah. We're trying to mount an expedition into the crack. Sounds fun, but not for me. I know it sounds difficult, but it'd really be a big help to everyone. No, it'll just be like last time. What was the last time? Oh, he didn't tell you. Who, who tell me what? Slippy. He asked me to help him with this ski machine. And? I helped. Things didn't work fast enough. He got angry. Shouted. So now I don't do tech help. Oh, I'm sorry. It really won't be like that with Bridget, though, and- I'm happy here. Got my cabinets and tunes. Sorry. And, like okay, I said, guys, we need to speak with Slippy. See you, Rafi. Uh, I'm sorry. Rafi, one more time. Oh, Rafi, I have something for you. Do I have to take it? Mm, no, I mean, it's kind of official, but not urgent. Okay, I'll take it. Please find below an addendum to your formal offer letter. We realize that the initial contract that agreed to your counter demands, namely, one, a 100 year period of confidentiality surrounding your work for all water corporation, two, to be credited as the master of circuitry, three, to not be interrupted, talked to, messaged, or otherwise contacted in any way while in the pursuance of your duties for all water corporation was signed prematurely by an AW employee with insufficient security clearance to grant this request. And so we must formally request you terminate the contract in order that we may renegotiate your demands for the period therein, given it may behoove all Water Corporation for some reason to be able to publicly acclaim our engagement of your Rafi Zelta's services. Compromisingly yours, Sanderin Asto, or Water Head of Recruitment. Did you... Well, I had to just to see who... Not a word about this to anyone. My lips are sealed. All right, then. Let's head out. And we are going to be intercepted by Felix for a little short combo. Psst, Harold. Hey, Felix. What's up? The password is Flatfish. Remember that, guys? The, the password what? Don't tell anyone. Don't be late. Tell anyone what? L late for what? Where? Felix. We'll get to that, guys. Let's head back to our room. As we need to pick up our next letter. So, of course, the lab district. All water and head all the way to the right, naturally. All water. We get you where you're going. And this one, guys, is for Chris. Okay, what have we got here? Uh, 
who, of course, is in the social district. Unsatisfactory journey for some reason. Just contact your nearest uh, and yep. We'll make it up to you. Talk with Chris. Sorry, guys. Oof. Ciao, Chris. Ciao, Harold. What's that you've got there? Ooh. Is it for me? Well, yes, actually. It's something old. But hopefully you'll still enjoy it. How mysterious. Well, hand it over. Let's see what the mystic ways of fate have brought me. Chris, it was a pleasure to speak to you about spirituality, cosmic oneness, the relationship between religion and science. And also, I must thank you for your workout tips. I am already seeing measurable improvements in my grip strength and latissimus dorsi definition. I agree that it would be a shame to let matters such as this go by the wayside, despite our community's scientific mission and focus. So as promised, please find attached a number of clippings and notes that will hopefully aid you in your search for understanding and a new signature look. Science Spiritually Yours. From Lecture on Cosmology and Religion by legendary cosmologist Marty Rees. The church is part of my culture, the rituals, the music, the community, and the compassion. And if I had grown up somewhere else, I would have gone to a mosque or a synagogue for the same things probably. It seems to me that people who attack religion don't really understand it. Of course, bad people do bad things in a good religion's name, but they would do bad things under any name. Science and religion can coexist peacefully, although I don't think they have much to say to each other. From the esoteric research article by the anonymous self-confessed mystic stylist, the relationship between both style and spirituality is not often explored, much to the detriment of both spiritual enlightenment and personal beauty. Many monastic devotees, for example, will shave off their hair, claiming minimalism and humility as a way of removing barriers to spiritual growth. But why do we associate Jesus with his flowing locks? Looking glam is surely in no way an impediment to feeling glam, the ultimate glam of the universe, the glam that connects us all. Clearly. Fantastic. This is great stuff. I always wonder why she never followed up. So they're all clippings about finding enlightenment? Were you looking for a religion to follow at the time? Well, not a religion per se, but something that would help explain my feeling that there were things science couldn't explain or express. I'm still, and will always be looking, I suppose. So this is great inspiration. Thanks so much for bringing it back to me, Harold. No problem. Oh, and, uh, not that it's important, but... How did you come by this? I was helping Buddy with some old mail that had got stuck in the all-water system. Thank him for looking after it all, all this time. Ah, Buddy. Such a true soul. Anyway, I'm going to meditate on this. 
Thanks again, Harold. Hey, from this point, guys, you guessed it. All the way back to our room. up the next letter. This one, guys, is for the major. Okay, what have we got here? So, again, head out. Yes, guys, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. Come on, Harold. Through the door. There we go. Excuse me, guys. Now, this one, like I said, guys, is for the Major. But we need to first head down to the Energy District and continue our little conversation with Slippy. for our next achievement. Destination decided. Enjoy the view. You have arrived. Please this time you notice that Slippy is inside the lab. And we are going to have a conversation with Slippy, guys, and we are going to give it, be given a dialogue option. Chose yes. Don't mash through. Take your time. Choose yes. Harold, my boy, come here. How's it going, Slippy? Good, good. I'm nearly done. And it's looking great. Fantastic. Say, have you seen an adapter lying around? Harold, I'm sorry, but does it look like I have time to be looking for <coughs> adapters? Excuse I me, guys. I suppose not. In fact, I could do with some help. Oh? I need to finish hooking up these tubes for some tests. Right. So, are you going to help me or just stand and watch me suffer? Yes, we're going to help him. Sorry. Sure. I'll help. Great. We need to connect both the tubes at the same time, okay? okay? So, first we're going to open up the panel and then put the tube inside. What made that go in? Right there? Because I know it's there was a cut but I... And now we got it locked in, guys. Let's go ahead and grab a hold and actually lock it in. Uh, it's going to be a pain in the butt well, to get it job. just Thanks, right, guys. To Sorry say about that. Totally in this alone. No problem, Slippy. Good luck with it all. Oh, and can you keep this little episode between you and me? I don't want Madam CEO breathing over my shoulder thinking I need help, okay? And we should get... Oof, Luke one for helping Slippy set up in the energy district. At this point, guys, let's head to the all-water tube elevator, of course. And head. 
head to Central Station. Please halt for your contaminant inspection. Inspecting. Destination selected. Have a pleasant journey and a fantastic day. Now exit the tube. Thank you. Quit our game. Alright, I'm sorry. Quit to the main menu. Then quit our game. Turn in our rewards for the day. Head home and four continue rewards, continued achievements and trophies, and continue videos, guys. You know what buttons to press. But as always, have a great day. See ya.